What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Train, as usual. hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And as y'all can see, we got my guy, Chris, on the screen. Chris, what's good with you, baby? What's good with you, Bob? Lakers in seven. That's crazy. That's crazy. The whole So we got to go game seven the whole way through? That's tough, bro. That's tough. I mean, look, that's a... That's interesting. That's interesting. Maybe we'll talk about it a little later on. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about it a little later on. All right. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Listen here. We got Chris back on the screen looking nice. You know what I'm saying? You was looking a little cloudy earlier there, my boy. Like It was looking quite grainy. I'm like, damn, I hope this is not like that for the whole episode. That's tough. That's hurtful. Ooh. And it's hurt, too, because, like, the people who listen to this for the audio aspect aren't really going to understand the struggle I'm having to do with on the editing aspect. It's like, ah, it's tough. But you're back. I'm glad to see it. And I'm glad you're here because we got a lot to talk about for this division. So, yeah. you know, it's a nice restart. So let's go ahead and restart with the Southwest Division. Now, I'm sorry. That's what we talked about last time. Northwest, Northwest. Division. Yeah. Now we got here some interesting teams. We're going we're gonna to kick it off with the Thunder. We're going to kick it off with the Thunder. Um, Chet Holmgren or Jalen Williams, which player will be more impactful for you? And then I, I just want to say real quick, with Jalen Williams, right, We oh, let's, let's start with Chet. Chet Holmgren, last year's number two pick, uh, missed it. You know what I mean? Like, he, he – it, 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 it was tough, but we've seen what the boy can do from the summer league. He's projected to be a really solid player. Um, but then you also got Jalen Williams, who, well, kind of performed better than what people thought. Now, this mm -hmm. is what, and I'm trying to share the screen with you, so bear, bear with me real fast. But he, the brother brought up 14 points, five rebounds, and three assists on, on 52, 37, and 81 splits. Like, that's not bad there, Chris. That's not bad at all. Hey, bad. Um, yeah, I, I, you know what I'm saying? So my my, my, my question is this, champ. Um, who you got between him and Chet Holmgren as the more impactful player next season? Chet obviously drafted higher, right? Second overall versus Jalen's 12th. But, I mean... Which one shakes out better for you? Because Jalen clearly did pretty well. And then when we go on the defensive aspect, 1.4 steals, 0.5 blocks. I mean, it's nothing to scoff with. And, again, he's 6'6", playing power forward. And that seven. ain't bad. Yeah. And so, seven. I mean, so I mean, what's your takes on that? What's your takes on them two? Uh, you got to give me one answer. You got to give me one answer. Chet or Jalen? Jalen. Jalen's more impactful. Okay. Now, what's your main reason for going Jalen? Because, because he could do, because he's six six, he can play the two, well, well, three to four, and now the small ball five. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, he can be, he can be another playmaker to Shay and to get it. Okay. 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 Because, because you already got, I mean. That their, their squad is so young, I said so young and so deep and so many and so many positions. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised if Jalen Jalen gets the gets the get the starting nod, but I won't be surprised if Chet if 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 Chet do what I know he can do in preseason, he definitely going to get the starting nod. But I think well, like. I mean, you say starting nod. All right, so let's see here. We got a solid young team. Um, Shay, obviously. Trey, Josh, Jalen, Lou. They got Victor is crazy. That's how hey, Trey. Josh. Yeah, that's tough. They traded for him or they traded him away? They traded for him. That's tough. All right, you got Chet Holmgren, Jalen Williams, Davis, Bur da yeah, Davis Bertans, um, Poku. That's a solid little 
Yeah, that's a solid little roster right there. I mean, if I had to list my starters off this one. Yeah, Shay, Jalen, Josh, Chat, and Dort. I guess Luke can get a little startsy. I guess Luke can get a little startsy. Something slight. That's not bad, too, because I got a really versatile team. Because Jalen uh, Jalen Williams and Lou Dort, they're the defensive-minded players. Josh and Shea are the offensive-minded players. And then Chet is supposed to be a solid combo of the two. So now, when I got those players in mind, well, you're not looking too bad. That's a solid, balanced team. Going back to that whole pizza and, and you know, smoothie category. Balance is the way to go for this organization because they have a nice young squad. I just think from a impact state standpoint, Chet might be more impactful. He's going to be the big man for them. Yes, Jalen Williams has shown to guard fives, right? But I think Chet will be that, that big man for him. Like, maybe not the... Post presence like a Joel Embiid or Rudy Gobert was proclaimed to be, but his length ain't nothing to scoff at. And offensively, I think he's potent. I think he's potent enough, and he's going to pair nicely with Shea and Josh. So, and because he can stretch the floor out, if he's projected to stretch the floor out enough, I think that opens the floor up for OKC. So now Jalen Williams can cook and, and, and drive to the basket. Now Shea has more spacing for the squad. So I think it's going to be. Chet as the more impactful player. Even though Jalen is very impactful themselves, they have a really strong four young a young core of four players right now to build off of. So OKC, very, very good team. People don't sleep on OKC at all. You 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 will miss out on some things. But I mean, ladies and gentlemen, that about covers the Western Conference. Um Chris, I don't know. If you got anything else you wanted to add before we close up shop, but I greatly appreciate you, my boy. And as y'all know, y'all definitely see him. Y'all will see him up here again as well. Stay tuned for the Carter albums to drop. You know, we got that coming out of the way. So he got some EPs working on him right now, but we'll have an out coming soon before long. But Chris, do you have anything you want to say before we close up shop? Once again, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Lakers and seven is really aggressive, by the way. I just wanted to reiterate that. That's going to be a really gruesome, tiring playoffs. I'm telling you right now. But, I mean, hey, maybe if we win the championship and we do it all in seven games, maybe Brown retires. I don't know. We'll see how it shakes. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please like, subscribe, comment. Tell anyone who's anyone about the show. My name is Trey. I'm the host of Get a Bucket. Hope you all have a good one. Take care. Not know you guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I gotta go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know, we get buckets around here, Pip.